Welcome back guys, today we will learn how to implement a sphere. In particular, we will learn how to implement a procedural generation cube sphere script. Let's start. This is our generation script, it's pretty straightforward and if you followed my previous videos about the cube generation and the plane generation, this is basically the same as the cube generation script, but we modified only one thing. Actually, you can see it there we are basically using a new vertex generator function in here actually first of all let's visualize the sphere so that's uh, our sphere and we start from a cube with a low resolution and then the higher the resolution the better the sphere will look so we will deactivate the wireframe for now and we are, we are gonna see it shaded so this is our sphere with resolution one resolution two we can still see the planes resolution three still see the planes four still see the, see the planes five it's a smooth sphere but if we come closer we can barely see the planes resolution seven we can still see some details of the planes here but with the resolution 7 we have a perfect sphere a perfect cube sphere and as you can see here you can still see the plane obviously in the wireframe mode and yeah we have a sphere with tons and tons of vertices actually it's 16,000 vertices multiplied by 6 this is our total vertices with this approach we broke the bounds that unity impose that is 65,000 vertices per mesh and in here we we have more vertices than the allowed because we are breaking the mesh into small meshes but how did we implement the sphere well the generation script is the same but what do we need to do actually it's the same that we did with a circle we do with a sphere so we want to normalize the vertices right after the generation and we want to apply a custom sizing to the vertices so to the sphere how do we do that here you can see the script the gas sphere vertices function that is basically the same of the cube generation function with the difference that after the generation we basically normalize the vertex and then we apply a custom sizing to it so in here we can see that we have a perfect shaded sphere and then we can also size it actually the sizing is specified as an int you can use a float instead of an int I don't know why I specified an int but actually you can use whatever you want and also you can use the sizing tool to size the sphere with your custom sizing but as I showed you basically the vertex sizing is applied in this way when you size here in here when you size inside the transform basically it's simply saying that each vertex should increase its magnitude of a certain value. So that's basically all. In the next video we will see how to deform a sphere and create nice wave and nice cool effects starting from this sphere. But for now it's everything for me and up until next time, cheers!